I mean, this is one step away from Alexei Navalny. This is a very serious situation when you have the president of the United States taking his opposition and jailing them. What's next? This is one step away from Alexei Navalny, the multiple time poisoned and imprisoned Russian dissident who was killed by the Russian government. It's one step. What's the step? Trump hasn't been imprisoned. He hasn't been poisoned except willingly by himself over the course of his <laughs> life with his choices in his diet. I don't think he's been killed by Vladimir Putin. And I'm pretty sure that even if he was, most of you would cheer it because you have as much loyalty to Putin as you do to Donald Trump. This is so wildly over the top. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. But there's a reason that Tudor Dixon, real name, I checked it, landed on this comparison. It's because it's one that Donald Trump himself has used in the past when he said in an interview, it is a form of Navalny. It is a form of communism or fascism. <laughs> it's one not of the two. any of those things. Whatever. They're different. Communism or fascism or interior decoration, it's a form of something, people. No, and God, the fact that Donald Trump, who has spent years cozying up to the sort of autocrats who do imprison or kill their opponents, like Alexei Navalny, was killed by Putin's regime. That they're like, oh, they're awesome, they're the best, they're so strong, they're so smart. And then the second you face a fine or whatever, you're like, I'm Navalny, hashtag we're all Navalny. Is like, no, you don't get to be Navalny. You love the guy who did the form of Navalny. What do you think? Well, I just think it's funny because if Trump were a Russian dissident, let's put aside that he is absolutely not and is at this point, I think, openly colluding with Putin. <laughs> um, he, if he were, let's say, a Russian dissident, he wouldn't be Navalny. He would be some dude we never heard of because Navalny withstood months and months, years in like a Siberian prison doing hard yeah. labor. Trump would have been one of the, the dudes that like tapped out day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, the shovels are bah. I'm like, like he would like no disrespect to Russian dissidents, but the guy would not have survived very long like Navalny. So I like yeah. that not only he's a political prisoner, but kind of the one who's been through the most as if like, come on, stolen valor, my guy. No, he would have cracked in five minutes. And by the way, so would I. But anyway, yes. that's why I'm not claiming that I'm in a form of, of Navalny. No, it's just so it's like it's not it's not even like stolen valor. It seems bigger than that, more comical than that. Do you, do you know who this guy is? First of all, you don't even really have to come up with a comparison to what Trump would be in the Russian context. He's he's one of the oligarchs here. He'd be right. an oligarch there. He'd be the same person that he is. He might be getting peed on more frequently in Russian hotels <laughs> than he was since he was born in America, but most of his life would be exactly the same. But anyway, Tudor Dixon in that video said that she was scared of what might come next. I don't think that she actually is. First of all, she knows Trump isn't gonna go to prison. He's probably still gonna become president. And if he does, what comes next is exactly the sort of authoritarian stuff that people like Tudor Dixon love. Trump has been pretty openly talking about it. But wouldn't it be terrible to throw the president's wife and the former secretary of state, you, uh, think of it, the former secretary of state, but the, pres the president's wife into jail. Wouldn't that be a terrible thing? But they want to do it. So, you know, it's, a, it's, uh, it's a terrible, terrible uh, path that they're leading us to. And it's very possible that it's going to have to happen to them. Ooh. Yeah. So along the way, it's like, no, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be bad, so bad? I might have to do it. <laughs> I might have to. They pushed me into it. I haven't been saying anything for years and years about how much I'd like to lock these same exact people up, but I might have to do it. <laughs>